Hello again, this is Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Ink, and I am back to show you even more of the dies from the Make It Market Party Pops kit. I showed you how the pop-up dies can be used with the circular, um, the circular backer that's included in the kit, uh, but this video I'm going to show you how these pop-up dies can be used on the inside of cards and tags. So let's get started. So included in the kit is also a scalloped tag base and liner die. Now these will work perfectly with the pop-up dies as well, so let me show you how that works. I started off by die cutting the circular, or excuse me, the scallop tag base from a fresh snow linen cardstock, and you can see how it embosses kind of a cute stitched line, and there's a scalloped edge, and then there's also a score line here which makes it super easy to just fold and go and it creates a cute little it's a good size tag or it can be just tucked in an envelope it coordinates with the smaller square envelopes that paper tray carries they fit perfectly inside of there so it makes just for like a fun enclosure card so there is also a liner die which is sized to to cut a liner that fits perfectly inside the folded tag and uh, I die cut one of those from fresh snow linen as well and you can see here where the die has partial score lines. Um, very similar to how the circular backer works with the pop-up dies um, in that we will nest one of the pop-up shapes inside that space between the scored lines. So yeah, like I said before, there's three shapes that are pop-up shapes. There's the candles, the cupcake, and the balloons, and any one of those will coordinate with this liner die. So today let's create um, some pop-up candles inside of this tag. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my pop-up candle die and I mentioned in my other video with the circular backer that each of these dies has a little little tab guides on the side that are kind of built into the the backing on the die. And just like the circular the circular pop-up tags, what you need to do is you need to line up those guides with those partial score lines on the liner. So I'm going to again use a post-it note and align the edge of my post-it with those little tabs, those guides, and then use that to line that up with the score lines on my die cut backer. And I'll just make sure that that is kind of centered in there. Center it left to right and make sure that that those guides are lined up with my score line. Okay, then I can just go ahead and run it through my die cut machine. Okay, and then you can see how I have this cute little element that will pop up. First of all though, before I pop that up, I'm going to do some stamping on that with the stamps, coordinating stamps from the kit. There are three different pattern uh, candles First of all, though, I'm going to stamp the little banner. That makes lining things up a little bit easier. So I'm going to start off with that banner image across the center of the candles using some tropical teal ink. And then I can go ahead and stamp my candles. I'm going to use this diagonal stripe along with some limeade ice ink. And you can just kind of look for those die cut lines through your block and that will help you line everything up. And then I have a polka dot candle which goes in the center. And I'll stamp that in some pure poppy. Okay, and then I have, oh, here we go, my other striped candle, and I'm going to do that in some aqua mist, and that one goes on the left side. It does matter which order the candles go in because they are um, designed so that the gap is perfectly coordinated with this banner image. So it does matter what order you stamp your candles in. The straight stripes go on the left, diagonal stripes on the right, and the polka dots in the center. 
And then there is a little flame as well. So we'll stamp that in some orange zest. Okay, and then there is a sentiment that fits right across that little banner. It says, it's your birthday, and I'm going to stamp that in some pure poppy. And then there is a sentiment that says, close your eyes and make a wish that will fit perfectly right below here. So I'm going to stamp that in some tropical teal. Goes perfectly with the candle theme. Okay, so our stamping is finished. You can see I added some little stars and confetti to the background using some stamps from uh, the stamp set included in the kit. So now we're going to assemble the pop-up card. And to do that, I'm just gonna really quickly score that line a little bit further. I'll extend that partial score line from the die a little bit further all the way to the die cut candles. The partial die, or the, excuse me, the partial score line is there to help you line things up, but since the, um, since the dies, the pop-up shapes have different widths at the base, some, some of those you will need to um, extend that line just a little bit to help you uh, fold it. It just makes folding a little bit easier. So we're going to extend that score line, and then we can go ahead and just pop that up and fold on that score line. And then I'm going to adhere that inside of the scallop tag base. So I'm going to add some adhesive around the edges. And I'm not going to get any adhesive on the actual die cut, the pop-up shape. So I want to avoid getting adhesive on there. So then we're just going to make sure that our scored lines kind of match up inside and this sits really tight up against that score line of the tag base, the scallop tag base. Make sure that that's in there really well. Okay, and then also included in the dies from the kit is this little tab die. Now when you line up your pop-up shape with the score line like I showed in the video a little bit ago, where you line up the guidelines with that score line, that ensures that this tab is going to be the perfect size to create this little piece that needs to get hooked on the inside of your card so that the shape actually pops open when you open your card. If without it, the shape just kind of sits there. So we need something to attach to the back of that so that kind of pulls that up when you open it. So that's what this little tab is for. So to use it, there's little score lines here. Just fold down those little tabs like this so you get kind of a U shape. And then we're going to put a little adhesive on those ends. Okay, so then you need to attach one end to the back side of your pop-up shape and the other end gets attached to the inside of that card. And secure that inside there. And then you can, once the glue is dry, I'm going to give it a little bit here just to dry, Make sure it's attached really well. So then what you can do is you can fold that up and the first couple times you fold it you just want to make sure that it's folding correctly. You might need to help it along a little bit. And then when you open it up that little tab pulls the shape up to create the pop-up. Okay. And then you can embellish the uh, front of the little card any way you wish. Here I have one that I did. I used some papers from the kit. And also I used this same candle pop-up die. Um, just a few little snips along the bottom. And you can use it like a regular die cut as well.
Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed another look at the Make It Market Party Pops kit. The Party Pops kit is a limited edition kit and it will be available for purchase from papertrayinc.com beginning on April 1st. And like I said, it's a limited edition, so when it's sold out, it's gone. So if you are interested, you might want to head on over there at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, April 1st, and uh, grab yourself one of those kits. All right, thanks for joining me. This has been Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Inc.